spoilers, everybody, for uh, for Loki. All Ooh. sorts of revelations. All sorts of Kangs. Well, there's one Kang. Yeah. There's going to be a bunch of Kangs showing up at Well, he least. threatened a bunch more Kangs, didn't he? Yeah. He's like, if you kill me, tons of Kangs. <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah. There's going to be too many. You're going to be <laughs> swatting them away. I'm going to try that in real life. If you kill me, tons of Kangs are going to show up? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah. All right, you should. But they're not always called Kang. That's true. Here's the thing. We're going to go through a bunch of Kangs here and be like... What's the deal with all these Kangs? What kind of Kangs are we going to get showing up in the future of the MCU? Because they are time-travelling dictators and 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 universe destroyers, and eventually they're all going to, by chance, they're all going to end up in the same room. That's right. And if they're all like, well, I'm Kang, mm. awkward. So, so they awkward. have to come up with different names. They're going to have to. So Kang actually started as a person leaving a like on this video. But Whoa. just after that... <laughs> the ultimate evil. That's right. Don't do it is what you're saying. Does the name Nathaniel Richards mean anything to you, Mason? No, but I know Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four. Surely they're not related in any way. Well, they may or may not be. Whoa! Yeah, so he was a 31st century scholar. We, of course, recently saw this in the show or a similar version. Who could be a descendant of both Reed Richards and or Doctor Doom. Oh. He finds a time platform. Then why isn't his name Doomy Richards? That's a great question. Isn't it though? <laughs> yeah. And as a result of that, he's like, I'm going to go back in time. I'm going to rule a bunch of stuff, I think. So there's also different versions of him that go back in time and also different versions from parallel dimensions. There's just so to many. clarify. That's not going to help the understanding of this video. This particular version went back to ancient Egypt, battling the Fantastic Four who became time displaced and took on the name Ramatut. Here's the thing also. Here's something that popped up in... Toot is a funny word for toilet. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. So that's funny. I'm just off to the Rama Toot, you can say. <laughs> he also used a giant... That's my Egyptian-themed bathroom. Oh, wow. Yeah. Because it's a lot of sandy. Is it yeah, very sandy? so sandy. It's awful. <laughs> it's awful. Just the way I like it. <laughs> so he actually uses a giant sphinx ship. I'm sorry? A giant sphinx. To get around. Okay, and sure. And there was also a Sphinx. That that would suit the rubber too. Definitely. The giant Sphinx. I agree. But you remember we saw that in the series. Yeah. Or we saw a Sphinx. We did, it's true. So that might have been a very much a nod to that. He was, of course, defeated by the Fantastic Four, as he always is. They hit him in the head with a brick. Richards curses. <laughs> Clunk. Yeah. <laughs> but there's other versions of him that kind of made a go at it. Do you know anything about Immortus Mason? Immortus mm. is Kang even further into the future, yep. or his future at the very least. Mm -hmm. Because like you said, uh, he's constantly being defeated by a brick to the back of the head. And yep, eventually yep. he was like, well, I'm sick of this. Hate this. And then he ran into the timekeepers, who in the comic books are real and not just figments of his imagination that he's made into like weird Chuck E. Cheese style animatronics. Sure, yeah. And they were like, hey, do you want to preserve the timeline as opposed to destroying it constantly? We'll mm. give you some cool stuff and we'll make you immortal. Yeah. And he's like... Yeah, right. Sick. But I still want to fight the Fantastic Four a bunch of times. And they're like, yeah, we don't care. Yeah. Yeah. If you can find the time, which yeah. you can, because, yeah. you know. Immortal and time travel. Yeah, <laughs> that you absolutely can. He also, uh, he, he, he was fighting the, fighting the Avengers, mm -hmm. Fantastic Four. He turned Iron Man evil briefly. Yep. And then they had to kill him and replace him with, they had to grab his teenage self out of the time stream. You yep. remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. Does anyone at Marvel remember that? No. Nah. Dropped that pretty quick, didn't they? They just fixed it. He just went through a portal, I think, and he came out regular again. <laughs> <laughs> That's lucky. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. handy. So interesting though you say teenager because he actually becomes at one point Iron Lad. He does, it's true, yeah. An actual good guy who is hoping to circumvent his future as a Kang. Yeah, he, he emerges in the modern day and he runs into a, uh, like a sort of broken version of the Vision. Yeah. Sort of mentors him and he builds uh, he builds like a an Iron Man style suit. It's cool. And he's he like joins the Young Avengers. He's like, this is where it's at. Are we building for the? Are we working towards the Young Avengers in the uh, MCU? I think we might. Totally. Be. We're getting a Young Hawkeye. Yep. We're getting. Um, There's a young Captain America, Isaiah Bradley's <laughs> grandson. Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Down the line. Don't even worry about out it. Out the toot. Out the toot. Right out the toot. Just firing out the toot. You know what I mean? <laughs> I do know what you mean, yes. Yeah. Because we established what that means earlier on in the video. Uh, it, that version, though, ended up just becoming a Kang anyway. You know yeah, what I mean? That's, that'll happen. That, uh, that'll These get you always tend towards Kangs, you know? That's true. That's why yeah. you don't want too many Kangs in the universe. Sylvie. That's right. You're listening. <laughs> I mean, you thought you'd get rid of one. He warned you, didn't he? He said, there's going to be so many Kangs. Yeah. Out the toot, he said. That's right. You won't be able to luxuriate in your sandy bathroom without a... <laughs> 
Kang coming at you. So here's one. Uh, so here's another kind of persona he took on. The Scarlet Centurion. I don't know about the Scarlet Centurion. So this is a version in a big red suit who confronted the Avengers and kind of got them to mess up their own timeline to defeat them, right? They created divergent realities and branching timelines. It was fucking chaos, mate. I mean, that all sounds very interesting, but I've just clicked on Scarlet Centurion on Wikipedia. Yep. And it just directed to Kang the Conqueror. Yes. So, I mean, it made he made less of an impact than he thinks. I, I well, but what about this? What about this? So he ruined it. It didn't yeah, yeah. work because, you know, yeah, yeah. it's what happens. And eventually his son took on that role, oh. right? So there you go. I think he's called Marcus Kang or okay. something. It's sure. neither here nor there. doesn't matter. But also, when he was defeated, mm. he was knocked or shunted into the time stream and it splintered and a different version on Earth-712, a different version of the Scarlet Centurion on Earth-712 who it was better and won. So that also existed huh. for like an issue. Of something <laughs> at some point. What about this one, Mason? Yes, go on. Mr. Griffin. Dumb. Also, okay. also sure. hinted at in the Loki TV series. Oh, yeah. Uh, Quang Indust- Industries. Oh, yeah. We saw it with the, t- taken, taken over, over the, Avengers. the Avengers Tower. That's yeah. right. So this is a version that was split into different versions in the time stream. And through the time stream, one of them ended up in the 21st century. We're in the 21st century. Ah, whatever. 2015, let's say. <laughs> yeah, cool, man. Let's say, let's say that. Yeah, it's yeah, around yeah. some Age of Ultron stuff. Oh, I'm, yeah, pretty, yeah, I'm yeah. pretty confident. Yeah, yeah. And he thought, how am I going to rule in the 21st century? Business. That's how you do it. You become do a it, billionaire. Eh? That's right. And you ruin everybody's day. You invent fidget spinners. In- invent them. Invent them again. So, yeah, he was quickly, whatever, dispatched and people figured it out and went, this is the fucking guy again. Yeah. The guy keeps popping up through time. <laughs> we hate this hey, guy. You know what we got plenty of in 2015, buddy? Bricks. <laughs> <laughs> 2015's a good vintage for bricks, my friend. <laughs> one of the best. Wham. Wham. Here's one for you. Uh, Victor Timely. What a great name. Well, presumably Timely is a nod to how timely he is, but what could it also be a nod Maybe to? Maybe Timely Comics, which is originally from Marvel likely. Comics. Yeah, okay. Exactly. So uh, he's sent back to the 19th century, and this version creates a town called Timely, which he named himself, and he's just like, I'm going to do business in this town. Oh, this guy's a business guy also. Yeah, maybe he's doing some there will be blood stuff, I oh, guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'd yeah, imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oil and milkshakes, I get it. Here's something fun, though. Uh, eventually, the, this version inspired Professor Phineas Horton to build the original android human torch, the android body of which became the Vision. Yes. Uh, who went on to try and defeat Kang by kidnapping him as a child, resulting in an even more fractured version of Kang with even more identities. Tried to get him where he would get him at home. Didn't you work. were offered the use of a time machine, James. Mm-hmm. Would you uh, would you say it's too much responsibility? I'll just leave it in the garage. Or would you just go absolutely nuts like all these Kang idiots, <laughs> just ruining timelines left and right? Well, I'd like to think that this version of me wouldn't, but there'd be another version who would. Yeah, and maybe I'd have to stop him. But then yeah, in doing yeah, yeah. so, maybe I'm the bad guy. Yeah, but I mean, if you're gonna be doing it anyway, yeah, good point. You may as well go nuts with it. Yeah, I might do that actually. <laughs> where can I go that's brickless though? <laughs> to think about that you know yeah, I mean? yeah I mean you'd be like well maybe I'll go to ancient Egypt but if anything the bricks are even bigger down yeah but there. no one they'd have to get a team to kind yeah. of dump it on me you know what yeah, I mean yeah. yeah yeah but that would be no good no it was ancient aliens man no oh, okay maybe an alien will dump one on me because <laughs> it's flying saucer to dump a brick on me uh, we can only hope <laughs> here's a fun one uh, Kamala Kang sorry who Kamala Kang Kamala Kang yes so this version Go on. of the classic character, Ms. Marvel. Oh, Mason. but also a time traveler. That's right. So when her power was kind of manifested, you know, normally she has stretchiness. She has big yeah, hands. Yeah. She hits you with a big hand mm-hmm. right yeah, on the yeah. head. Yeah. It doesn't need bricks. This version developed time traveling powers. Well, how convenient. There's a number of other versions that also kind of have briefly popped up. There was a Doctor Doom version. It's like an amalgamation. I, I can't rule out that Kamala Kang was just a typo that they had to run. No, no, I've seen it. No, I know, but it would have started as a time. Oh, definitely. Almost, <laughs> yeah, I would say almost certainly. Someone was sitting in a sandy bathroom on their phone, yeah, sending, yeah, yeah. A, sending a text message and it auto-corrected to this. <laughs> and they went, yeah, right. And you've probably also heard about uh, the Council of Kangs. Yes. This is like the Council of Ricks from sure, uh, yeah. a very uh-huh. popular TV show. I cannot yeah. remember the name of it for the life of me, Mason. No, no, no. But yeah, they get together and they're like, let's do time travel stuff. And sometimes they're like, oh, we all hate each other, actually. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. they're working together, sometimes mm-hmm. they're not. Council of these blokes just banging about. Anyways, we're going to be seeing a lot of this guy, it turns out. So many different personalities, so many hats, so many crimson or scarlet suits, Mason. Oh my God, right? Yeah. I want to see a big pharaoh looking one. He's got a big pharaoh hat on, you know what I mean? Sure. Probably a technical name for that, but I'm sure he can just, in the show, they'll just say pharaoh. 
Pharaoh hat. Yeah. <laughs> well, he doesn't know because he's from the future. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pass me that Pharaoh hat. Get that fucking brick away from me. Look at the sign. Hat, yes. Brick, no. <laughs> I put it in hieroglyphics for you. That's right. Uh, anyways, you're not going to believe this. We've done a recap for literally every episode of Loki, haven't we, Mason? Can you imagine anyone doing a recap for every episode of that show. There were so many episodes. There were so many, and Collings did great work on the edit. Lawrence did great work on this edit, Mason, Whoa. when you believe it. And also, look, if you want to see a bunch of these videos early, including Caravan of Garbage, recently also did Iron Man, if you sign up at BigSandwich.co, guess what you can? Also, our podcast, The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows, that comes out a day early. We do movie commentaries. There's a bunch of other stuff going on there if you do want to check it out. Should we get out of here, Mason? We should get... The heck out of here. All right, goodbye, Let's everybody. Let's get in our time machine and do some mischief. I'm sorry, I think... Just I... kidding, we don't have a time machine. We're just going to vandalise some stuff down the block. <laughs> That's fun, too. Bricks at the ready. Here we go. Yay! I'm sorry I did too many swears in this one, I think. I apologise to the listeners. But, you know, as long as it doesn't get flagged by YouTube, we should be right. All right, goodbye. Grab that jam, you guys. We'll see you next week. Yeah.